I don't know if we've ever, all three of us have ever been in the same place at the same time. Yeah, people have thought that you are me and I am Amin because no one's ever seen the three of us. Finally, I just realized the conspiracies I forgot to put my ring back can on. end. Oh, speaking uh, of conspiracies, yeah. I took it off last night because I had an itch <laughs> mm -hmm. and I slept with it off and I forgot to put it back there you on. Go. Guys, Photoshop this it is, on. Yeah, get, Let, hold on, extend your hand. No. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, yeah. It's there. No, 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 I just they're gonna photoshop, photoshop it onto it. Onto it. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Make it even a little mm -hmm. bit. Yeah. Dan Soder. Oh, what yeah. are I was gonna say, hold on. Three, two, one. What wow. a beautiful ring. Gorgeous. That's definitely there wow. in person at the table. And gonna, edit. I was gonna say, Dan, she's really passive aggressive. This is how she breaks up with you. <laughs> I oh, just no, I forgot my <laughs> ring. I had an itch <laughs> that I needed to scratch. <laughs> no, I did. No, I did. It was literally, I can't explain it, but if you get like an itch under your ring finger when you're trying to fall asleep or under your ring, it's like I, I need it off. I like need to get it off so that I can itch my, that's and what, I just that's pulled what, it off. That's what Kate Middleton said. I know. How is she all right? I don't think that so. That video they released of her, I don't, look, I don't want to go down the conspiracy theory, but that's not how she walks. She does not walk like the that. Walk the, was the walk was yeah, the walk It was off. It was not correct. It was how not does a she walk She normally? is poised. The woman at that farmer's market was like, her. <laughs> you know? <laughs> So it's not Katie, that's how you walk. Yeah, I know. <laughs> like I'm here in boy clothes. I understand who like I am. Unlanded, I know what role I play. Unlanded gentry. Yeah. I am the I'm, you know, the people's princess pre princessness. Yeah, princessdom. Just, right. just, just waiting for a Disney miracle. Just that's right. uh, just uh, I just need a frog chin. to kiss me or something. We're here to do a lot of things. Um, Amin, as a foreshadowing, I booked Amin. Amin's here in person. Hello, yeah, I did Katie. not know. I walked Hello, in very Amin. surprised. I haven't seen Amin in pre-pandemic, yeah. for sure, at I was, least four years. It was I probably been five years. Yeah. It was July 2019. It was the- I thought you were going to have like a real date. No, it was, yeah, it was, it was. I could probably find one if I looked at my phone, but it was the ESPYs. That was the, that la was the last the last time, time I've seen you What are person. your memories of the ESPYs from 2019, the last time you guys saw no, each other? No, it's because we did the, the go-kart racing. That's, oh, that's what- Oh, right. Yeah, we did the Mario yeah. Kart. Oh, go faster! Now Katie's in my rear view. My mean is really far up ahead of me. Yeah. It's really just too easy for me, honestly. I'm the most merciless. The most ruthless. My car's too slow! Oh. Always late with Katie Nolan. Shout out. Get some cool shit. Yeah. So late it's dead now. Mina Kimes has cheated. Just gonna throw that out there. No, it was um, was it me the cheat? No, it I was thought Gary. it was Gary. Gary, Gary had the his... only Gary person who is banned from this show. Yeah, Gary Streisky because he's... he's hot. Pablo, Pablo, Pablo is what I prefer to call him. Yeah, Fake we call Pablo. Him Pablo. But <laughs> others have suggested <laughs> that he is... no, he cheated and he said he he said as much. Hotter. He admitted, and I got so, like legit mad. My favorite thing was that Gary apparently used to work at a go kart track. Somewhere, and so he, he like consulted. He had, like nitrous in his. Thing. Yeah, they 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 took the governor off That's of his. Yeah, who was in his go kart? He got rid of the governor, and I was like, "What? I didn't even I know, didn't know what that meant." I was like, the, the, "How does the government get involved in this?" <laughs> um, so we'll get to Amin and Amin's week as global internet celebrity uh, in a bit. <laughs> That's every week. Foreshadowing, <laughs> chuckling, foreboding chuckles. Um, but I actually wanted to start with something that happened. That involved all three of us huh? and Katie Nolan's show about four years ago, almost exactly. If you can play our first clip on Share and Tell. Here's the game. Okay. The original idea was that I would just sit in a Zoom chat alone and send the link out to every famous person I know and wait and see who shows up. But then okay. Zoom got hacked and I was like, no one's going to click on it. So now we're trying, we're doing a thing where all of us are in on this game and the goal is to get the most famous person to join our Zoom. <laughs> But we're trying to decide. I, you look nothing like yourself. It's freaking me out. When are we going? Right now. Go. Okay, all right. How do, how, do, how do we win? Ooh, who's it? How about the mustache? Yes! Oh, I forgot. Oh, wow. Oh. Damn it! That's a good one! I'm on the board. What's see, happening? Wow. Oh, wow. <laughs> Katie Nolan. Jesus Christ, the only way I can see Katie Nolan is through an impromptu Zoom. Oh, True. Jay A's phone. Oh, oh I went now. too soon with that one. Uh, yo, what's up, man? 
Welcome, Jaleel White. <laughs> I should have held. I should have held on to that one. I went that too was good. soon. Really Wait, early. we're gonna we're gonna we're gonna walk through some of this down the memory lane of April twenty twenty. Of course, it's damn, it was April. It was early. Mm-hmm. Yeah, it was the beginning. It was the beginning of the, the. But but Zoom had already gotten hacked, which I forgot about. Yes. Since. But I remember Zoom got people were like showing up at other people's Zoom meetings right before we were about to do this, and I was like. Shit. No yeah. one's going to do it. Zoom bombing. People were playing yeah. like hardcore porn and like college yeah. lectures nice. and stuff. So I was worried people weren't going to show up. And meanwhile, Amin was like texting uh, Urkel, Jaleel White, like, hey, join. The- what was- it was like, join this meeting. We had come up with like a specific thing There's you could prompt, say, yeah. a prompt that you couldn't like deviate from. That was like, hey, join this meeting. Looking back on it now, I'm like, why didn't we just text everybody and say, I'm trying to get the most famous person I can to show because up. To it show was because up. people would have said no. We were challenged. The yeah. goal was we needed to only have our 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 pull our yeah. own no, charisma no appeal yeah. Yeah. exactly right our yeah. vibes also as i'm sure we'll see throughout the clip i ruin the thing by the every time yelling who brought you the second somebody famous shows up <laughs> because i wanted to keep track of who brought That's right. who and then i didn't cuz i got um hammered oh I got very drunk during oh. this I didn't know that. I, I didn't, didn't know that, but you, that all makes sense. I think the sense. whole time I'm doing Dude. two two hands of wine. Yeah, so Nick Wright begins it. F*** you, Nick Wright. Again, we're That's in a right. beef mm-hmm. for those not paying attention to mm-hmm. our show now. Um, mm-hmm. And then Amin brought uh, Urkel. Apologies, Jaleel White. Jaleel very White. good, very early. Hate to, yeah. hate to keep on Urkelizing you, yeah. um, but <laughs> the night goes on. Urkelizing. Oh, oh Andrew oh, Schultz. Oh, oh. He oh, oh. Oh. Yep. Hello. Hey, Hello. Andrew Schultz, who invited you here? There she goes. Amin. Uh, am I allowed to say? Yes. yes. Carmel, who invited you? It was Amin. God Dude, I came heavy hitters early. Mike sure you just missed Jaleel White. Mike sure who invited you? <laughs> Ryan. God damn it. Oh, Mike's here. Mike Ryan. I got yes, nobody. Alan, you're <laughs> yeah. He's assembling the Parks and Rec writer's room at this point. Let's party. Let's go, let's go. <laughs> Bobby. Bobby with, with the background. background. Oh, 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 wow. This is Chris Long. Oh. Chris Long, was that, that Diana Rossini invited Chris Long? or I think so. I think so, but bearded Bob Lee with the tropical Zoom background yeah. who had no idea what was happening no and then left Didn't almost stay. immediately. Did not stay. I think Bob it, Bob left with the speed of someone who could leave to catch a predator if they were allowed to leave to catch a predator. <laughs> yeah. I just yeah. remember him being like, no. To be clear, Bob That's Lee is not the only a relation to to catch a predator. No other Correct. Relation. I will also say uh, this was my own personal hell that I didn't see coming was that people would log on with their friend's account so their name wouldn't be their name. Uh. And they all don't look like, you know, Bob Lee was had the glasses on and was like over. And so I had this moment where I was like, oh, as a lady who when it comes time to name someone, I panic. I don't have like that facial recognition brain thing, but I do panic when it comes time to say anyone's name out loud. My brain goes, you're going to get this wrong. You're going to get this wrong. And so every time somebody came yeah, in, as having, the host to of this announce, party. having to be like, that's um the guy, uh, that guy. <laughs> she it, looks it, at Pablo like, Jack the, Black. Yeah, I'm like, somebody <laughs> say the name of this, whoever, you know, whoever invited this person, say their name out loud. Um, but no, it, it, it gets worse. Yeah. It only gets worse. <laughs> You can now you can text whatever oh, you want. Yes. <clears throat> wow. All right. Oh, that's the God's got going on. That's, that's my coaching tree. No, I don't count. Who texted you? My teammate. Adam Lefko. Oh, Lefko. <laughs> Lefko brought Dwayne Wade. Lefko brought a lot of people. <laughs> this was okay, where it started getting gone. crazy. Clayton right. Kershaw? <laughs> <laughs> He was pissed. Kershaw He's the only pissed. one who was legitimately what? angry to be a part of this. <laughs> Look at Scott Hansen. It's actually technically Clayton's iPad. Who brought Clayton? You're welcome. Why am I here? Who? Nobody knows why anybody's here. Who brought Clayton, who, who invited you? Brandon McCarthy. There you go. Uh, Thank you, Brandon. Yes. Welcome, welcome to the show. Yes. We got to acknowledge that in the editing of that clip, we just did the thing that happened uh, earnestly and genuinely to the person who is now one of the biggest stars in America. Oh, yeah. So beyond Clayton Kershaw showing up shirtless and confused and disoriented, um, when Lin-Manuel Miranda showed up, Mm. um, he showed up like maybe 5, 10, 15 seconds right after someone else. Mm. Do you remember who that person is? No. 
I, I, I think I remember. I think I know who you're talking oh, about. Oh, was it? Yeah. Was it Taylor Swift's boyfriend? Yes. That's right. Yeah. yeah. Travis Kelsey showed I forgot shows, he was there. He showed my, up. My good friend, Travis Kelsey. I mean, his good friend, Travis Kelsey, yeah. showed up yeah. and had a line that reminded me of like, at the time, I was like, is he doing like an Adam Sandler impression? Mm. He was like, I still don't know why I'm in here. It's like, it's one of those wow. things. <laughs> yeah. Hey, what's going on there, guys? What up, dude? Hey, guys. What's up, Travis? I'm on my phone. I didn't uh, even notice that he was there. Me too. I'm uh, I'm still just a little confused on what's going on, but yeah. <laughs> Let him know. Let him know what's going on. <laughs> <laughs> okay, someone just won. It's like fucking Hamilton's here. Yeah, oh, man. Screw that guy. I just want I, I just want to say right now, Travis, you my dog, man. I was excited for you to be there, even though I was on my phone. Sounds like time. he was in between accents. No, stop it. Sounds like he was in his transitionary <laughs> period. Like, One day I'm gonna. From the way he stuff. talked. <laughs> Mm -hmm. To the way he now talks. Mm -hmm. You understand what I'm saying? I do. Yes. We're not going to do It's this. like the reverse Is that your Beyonce? real best friend? That's, I don't follow your lore. You have a lot of lore on the internet. Yeah, what's going on with the- You guys with, are actual friends or I, this is a bit? I just want to say that the, the, the end, which I'm assuming isn't here, is Jeffrey Wright shows up. And then oh, Jeffrey Wright- He stayed for a long time. And he time. spends like 25 minutes- He was awesome. Talking about the state of the world. And, yeah. Like, and and people, people, let me just say this, regular people, I'm not going to name names, but like- Friends of ours, like, man, you should be lucky you in here. We're dropping off, and I'm like, are y'all serious? Jeffrey Wright is sitting here talking to us, yeah. like actual conversation. You remember the names? You remember who it was that wasn't? Mm, who? I, I do. I'm well, not bleep it. Okay. I had to say yeah, mine. Yeah, yeah. Oh, yeah. yeah. Well, you know. Uh -huh. Not a Westworld She's, fan. You know. Yeah. It there also was a coach who hung out for a while, too. Oh, my God. Who uh, was it? Alvin Gentry. Yeah. Oh, Alvin Gentry. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah, yeah. 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 <laughs> Alvin, but my favorite, I think one of my favorite subplots was that. Uh, magically, both Scott Hansen and Andrew Siciliano. We brought the red yes. zones together for yes. the first time. I don't think we've ever I don't seen think them. That's allowed. I don't by think law. so either. Yeah. I don't. Think I think they when they showed it. up and saw each other, they were like, "Well, he's got to leave first. Wait, wait, Scott and I can't be on the same screen at the same time. Siciliano, exploding. The world's going to explode. <laughs> It I'm was like I cannot him. imagine. It was like uh, you got served. They like they their, yeah, they did a dance battle. Yeah. My my misses were so poorly received that I think it ended my actual relationship. I was gonna with say them. my regret is I I did reach out to people I like cashed in favors that did it's, not pay absolutely. off and I'm like I wish I had waited and yeah I'm, like, to that. I'm gonna tell you right now I messaged Kimmel I should not have done that <laughs> I messaged Ed Hockley oh boy oh, that and I said, and you said hey bud suns out guns out <laughs> hey hop on the zoom real quick it's nothing bad I'll explain later and he has left me on red. <gasps> Every time oh, since. Oh, no. Nice. And before that, he was answering? Yeah, I'd interviewed oh, him for a story. No, and uh, you're that, a clown that's now. done. <laughs> I'm oh, merely, I'm that guy. Uh, Barkley, honestly. Oh, I, no. Barkley, I said, hey, hop on the Zoom real quick. It's something bad I'll explain later. This was 9.58 p.m. Eastern, uh, April 7th, 2020. Three hours later, 11 to 1 p.m., uh, he responds, brother, just got this, was golfing. Yeah. Um, has not responded to any text since. Nah, I, I'm gonna Chuck, Chuck is, that's just Chuck. Sometimes he doesn't hit back. But I will say, I, I've always thought like, yo, I think me and Jaleel's kind of friendship changed after that day. Like, <gasps> really? it, it used probably, to be real cool, and I'm, now it's kind of like, oh, hey, what's up, that? man? Gotta, and I'm gotta, like, damn. Gotta say, I kind of feel like I didn't help you in that cause. Yeah, and so. I ruined your guys' friendships with people. I'm so Absolutely. sorry. Good segment, though. Real good segment. Didn't save the show, but uh, good, segment. <laughs> good segment. It was one of the most memorable things that happened in. It was the arguably early my favorite. Oh, oh no, my daughter was born. Yeah. So yeah. shouldn't say second. That. Second favorite. Maybe second. There you go. On the metal stand. So the reason I brought Amin here to New York City to this table um, was not to talk about what I think we have to talk about in the course of talking about the thing I wanted to talk to him about. That's a lot of talking. Mm. Um, because, I mean, everything that's been happening to you this week, mm -hmm. you're a viral internet celebrity, which we'll get to. Mm -hmm. um, I want to bury that lead because actually what I want to talk to you about is Ramadan. Mm. Because I feel like I don't appreciate what it is that you and lots of athletes, let mm -hmm. alone gas bags, are, are doing right now. So can you give us like a Ramadan for dummies? Is that is that a thing you yeah. can help? 
Yeah, you web? I've done I've done this every year since since the pandemic. I do a little. I had a video that I did during the pandemic, and I always post it at the beginning of Ramadan. But I'll give you guys a spiel. Thirty days, sun up to sundown, every single day. You can't eat, you can't drink, you can't smoke, you can't ingest anything. Uh, you can't engage in any sexual uh, acts, and you, which is this. That's just the physical part, but the mental part is. You have to be kind of a nicer, better version of yourself. That's so, your challenge. That yep. is a huge, uh, That's honest the hard to God, part. that is the hardest part for me. It's just to keep my mind pure and not to be kind of reactive. And, and especially as that's, you know, when you're hungry, you're nerves get on more on edge a lot easier. Which I've learned from marriage. And Snickers commercials. There you go. Exactly. <laughs> that's right. <laughs> But yeah, so the idea is you do this for 30 days and it is meant to do a lot of things. One thing, it, it forces you to focus and be a better version of yourself. Another thing is it puts yourself in the shoes of the less fortunate people who can't get something to eat whenever they want or can't get something to drink whenever they want. But um, are allowed to be assholes if they want. Yeah, to. I mean, yes, Just but Just, that's because that's our yeah. 365. Of course. Uh, the way I, I was talking to uh, Byron, was one of the guys who works yeah. here, and I was telling him my philosophy is for 335 days a year, I'm a piece of shit. So for these 30 days, I try to be like what I should be every day, but I'm not. So it is what it is. But it is it's it is an interesting thing because as you go through it, you meet different people and you're like, oh, you're, you're fasting, you're, you're Muslim or whatever. And that that is a cool feeling when you discover, oh, someone else is going through this same shared experience. Right. I realized as I was sipping my uh, I don't, no, I've been doing it, so, it right in front of you this brew whole and time. Oat milk. So this is a great segue to like the number one of the number one things like, oh, my God, I'm so sorry. I'm like, I yeah, are, are we are we uh, cartoon steaks to you, Amin, no, yeah. on the desert <laughs> island yeah. of I, Ramadan? I, is it all you see? A tall, a literal tall glass of water. When the sun goes down, mm -hmm. you can. You can, you can eat, yes, and drink, and so. And sex. Can so, you okay, sex? So, Which is so, the best time, so, probably? So, I'd argue. So to do that. sex. This is this is the funny part. So sex, yes, if you're married, right? It's because uh, that's the rule in general. Three sixty-five, uh, right? You're not supposed yeah, to have premarital I mean, sex. You're not supposed to have extramarital sex. Sure. So, for some people, they just go letter of the law, like can't have sex during the day, during the night, I can't have sex. I'm of the belief that like, yo, I, I'm trying to do everything right. Mm. So I don't do anything mm. sexual in nature for 30 days. Not even- Even a solo act. Not even solo acts. All mm. right. Yep. Well. Yeah. And so, so you're, and then you have to wake up and be nice. And then I got to wake up and be nice. For 29 more days. That's yep. wild. Yeah. How far into it are we now currently? This, w this is day nine. Mm, my goodness. So we just finished week one. Yesterday was eight days, you know, the first Monday after the first Monday we started and I have dropped six pounds It's just like my Invisalign. We're on the same journey. You, you and I, we're not, <laughs> we're not so, so different. different. <laughs> what, uh, when it comes to, Again, the the thing that I go to, which is like, what are you craving the most? Does that change over the course of these weeks? So it, it's weird because I, for the most part, I don't get hungry. I really don't get hungry. I do get thirsty, especially when it's in the summer months. I, and given what I do for a living, I talk all day. Mm. So thirst does that become hard, an issue yeah. at some point. But for the most part, I don't get those cravings. But the weirdest thing, like I'll be watching TV and then a Red Robin commercial will come on. I'm like, oh <laughs> my god! And I'm like, I don't never wanted to go to Red Robin. I've never demanded to go to Red Robin. But a Red Robin commercial will come on and I'll go crazy. There's this new thing that Little Caesars has. I don't know if you guys have seen them. They're like these mini pizza puffs or whatever. They're supposed to be the new, the like the Popeyes chicken sandwich yeah. craze of 2024. And I'm looking Look at them. them. Yeah, I'm looking these up. And I'm like, oh my god! Let's I just want those. like yeah. a full tray of them and like just open my mouth like my a mouth. Yeah. like a pelican and just yeah, take it into my <laughs> of gullet. Course. Of course, we're gonna somehow Photoshop pelican and mean mm. guzzling yeah. Little Caesars well, crazy puffs. Crazy, crazy puffs. puffs. Oh man, what a name! What a name! So one thing that I have come to understand also uh, is Ramadan is not the same month every year. Yeah. Huh. And so. Where does I guess April rank in your power rankings of months for Ramadan to happen? In? This, this is this is now we're going. We are steadily heading towards the better part of the calendar. So it moves back ten days every year because it's on the lunar calendar. Got so it. every year it's ten days earlier than it was the year before. Oh wait, it's March. Yeah, we're March. Well, it'll end in April, 
But then next year, it'll be mostly in March. And then the year after that, it'll be February. So, like, the number one seed is December, January time because it's just, like, short days, cold weather. But, but, but oh, I guess you don't celebrate Christmas. Yeah. Oh, it's, by the way, one Christian of the most holiday, free- you f***ing idiot. I- one of the most <laughs> Eat some more crazy things. puffs, you yeah. <laughs> I, like Christian the- <laughs> no, but it's, it is weird because I look at Christmas as the biggest inconvenience in the world for you guys. I don't care. I get to, it's like a day off. I just have fun and whatever and just hang out. Mm. But for people who celebrate it, oh, I got to get what kind of Christmas gift? Oh, I got to get, it oh, awesome. I have this rabbit. Oh, the milk we and the cookies for like Santa. Turbo man. That is what we say. Oh, my God. What am I going to get for Christmas? Oh, boy. <laughs> I wonder what this is. Oh, oh it's socks and a tie again. I, I, like, I don't have to go through any of that. And it's yeah. so freeing. That's nice. Can I ask you, if, if somebody wants to, if somebody has that um, urge to mm-hmm. say happy Ramadan, what mm-hmm. is the way to say mm-hmm. that? Well, happy Ramadan works. It does? Yes. It, believe it or not. Ramadan huh. Kareem is like, if you want to get real, like, oh, I'm sophisticated. Yeah. Ramadan Kareem. Yeah. Ramadan Kareem. That's an easy one. Ramadan Mubarak is another one. Those are the those are the three What's main ones. I'd, Eid Mubarak? What's that for? Eid, so Eid, Eid? Eid is the Eid. is the festival Other. at the end of it. Got it. When it's done. Yo, well, let's get... talk about the end of it. Yeah. Do you guys have what's is what? there like a traditional food that is eaten at the meal the what way do you, that like, how do you, turkeys at Thanksgiving? How do you celebrate yeah. finally getting to do the stuff you couldn't do? So the day after Ramadan, that the day after the last day of Ramadan is Eid. And uh you start off first of all, it's very important, like religiously, they're like, you have to eat when you wake up. Because you have to signify, I'm not fasting anymore. So you can't be like, ah, I'll get to, you know, I've got a busy day. I'll eat at one o'clock. No, like you got to wake up and start eating just to say, hey, yep, it's done. Then uh, there's a big prayer. If if I'm pretty sure whatever major American city you live in, you're going to be driving by a convention center or maybe it's a, a park because the weather's nice in April. And you're just going to see hundreds of cars and a bunch of people. And it's like, what's going on? It's the eight prayer that all the you know mosques will get together and they'll put it on like the convention center or Central Park or whatever, uh, where, whatever city you're in. And, and then you do this for like three days. You're supposed to go visit family and everyone rejoices and all that. Mm. For me, I, I probably get through like day one and then I'm like, all right, we're back to normal. Yeah, you're basically just masturbating continuously. <laughs> While eating a pizza. <laughs> It sounds impossible to me. I've been like sipping pathetically now, mm-hmm. just like little bits. Two different beverages, Two, by the way. Yeah, yeah, you are I brunching. Am... <laughs> At the same time, I'm watching someone like Kyrie Irving mm-hmm. do this. Looking in for Irving. Irving for the win. Oh, no. A self-pop finish for Kyrie Irving. Just absurd. Just like one of the greatest game winners of all time, Lefty. If you haven't seen it, you're missing out on just a remarkable thing to do while not having eaten yeah. or drank anything. So it, it bears noting that game was a matinee game. So he played the entirety of that yeah. game without right. drinking yeah. or power bar or anything like that. He was just going off of whatever he had the night before. Yes. This all helps inform in a real way what I had been imagining it was like to be you while Kyrie Irving was doing mm-hmm. that. Kate, are you familiar? You're familiar with I mean, with what are you happened? on the internet? Katie? Yeah, yes. yeah, yeah, yeah. It came so. across my... I didn't dig because I figured I'd be getting the first-hand account mm. But today. for people who maybe missed it, mm. this happened. And the thing about this jump shot is it's confusing because the setup and the, the beginning of it looks like the jump shot going to be normal, okay? Frame by frame, the dribble looks normal. The knee bend looks normal. The form right through here is normal. The elbow's out a little wide, but that's fine. And then the follow through, it all goes to hell. Everything goes to hell. Amin is my guy. Adapt him up in Vegas. Cool guy. I don't care. Not today. He missed this shot so badly. I don't want you to miss your shot to see me live. Kevin says your friends, it's a live stream comedy show. <laughs> nice. about really $100. good. Don't miss really your shot. Really good. Damn it, Kev. I mean, really was good. such Come a up. meme that people were advertising yeah. their comedy shows on yeah. the back of videos of a meme doing. I don't even know where that was. What What should we know about the context of what visually is hard to describe right. any better than Kev on stage? That comedian uh, apparently just did. so shout out to Kev. That's my guy. But I, I told him I've always wanted to collaborate with you. It was an honor to do so. Now. <laughs> 
It was this was in Dallas on Saturday. That's the, that's the irony. It's not just that. Oh, it's like me and Kyrie the same weekend, <laughs> same like back to back days. I was on Saturday. He was on Sunday. He was like, I gotta, I gotta improve the perception of Islam in America I, I, right now. I like to think of it as like, huh. I like that. I think I could take something from that and do something with it. No. So Saturday I was in Dallas for Athletes Unlimited. Uh, that's the women's professional league. They actually do it in uh, multiple sports, but obviously this was a basketball one. Uh, they, it's a really cool concept, to be honest with you, because they've kind of NASCARized basketball. In other words, you're in teams, but the teams don't really matter. It's all about the individuals. And you get points for your team wins. You get points for winning quarters, but you also get points for your individual stats. And at the end, you have a leaderboard, and that's how you figure out who won the league. And you can only make left turns. Thanks. All right. So, uh, don't so miss I- your chance to see me live. <laughs> 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 so, I was invited to do uh, the participate in the celebrity game, which was cool because it was a very cool event. The game went off without a hit. That's from before the game while I'm warming up. Mm. And I was shooting from that spot. And I had made a couple in a row and sitting behind me, uh, Miles Elric, uh, who I had met, but like I kind of friend of a friend. He was with a couple of friends of mine, Christine Williams and uh, Tarika uh, Foster Brasby, who used to work with us at yep. Shout out to both of them. Shout out to both of them. Absolutely. They do a great job covering women's hoops. So they're all sitting together courtside. And they're behind me, and I, I'm making these. I don't know of anything. I'm just doing my thing. And so uh, Tyler tells me, or excuse me, Miles tells me, um, you had made a couple. I said, oh, this is cool. Let me let me get my phone out and start recording. And so the first one he records is my is that shot. And he's like, oh, this is even better. And he posts it right then and there. But I don't know this. Uh oh. So I go, I play in this game and it's fun. You played an entire game without knowing. No clue. I didn't look at my phone the whole time. So after the game, you know, we take pictures and everything. And so I go up to Christine and Tariqa. I'm like, hey, what are you guys doing after this? I think we're going to get something to eat, whatever. And Miles looks at me. He's like, you haven't looked at your phone, have you? I'm like, no, what's up? And he says, oh man, I posted something. And I'm like, oh, so watch this. During the game, Like in the fourth quarter, there's a moment where we're making this comeback. We're like a couple buckets down. We get a stop. My man Merricks passes me the ball up court, and I know I have one person to beat. So I'm like, let me just check where they are. I don't catch the ball. It goes out of bounds. Turnover. I was crushed. I was like, I felt like I left let the team down or whatever. I thought that was what they posted. Like, oh, look at me not even be able to catch the ball. And he was like, no, it wasn't that. I'm like, what was it? So I pull up the video. Well, first of all, I open my phone. My buddy Wells, Wells P, shout out Wells P, says, my brother in Christ, what is going on here? And I'm like, <laughs> oh, okay, what's happening? Hold on. So then I, I look at my Twitter mentions and I see the video. And the first thing I actually pay attention to is the back of my head and how the hair is filled in very nicely. And yeah, great. like, oh man, the medication's working. Great. And I was like, oh, this is, this is awesome. Thanks, this, yeah. is, this is going Wrong. well so Thanks, far. Man. Let's see what people are saying. Yeah. Then, you know, the video repeats and then I see like, Oh my God! It it's the worst one ever, right? And it is, for the record, uh, bad to the point where, and I I where, I, I where to, comedians are, are, you know, but it's not. I just have to quote uh, our our friend Sue Bird. Oh no, oh, Sue Bird Sue. saw it, dude. Everybody no, so saw it. It went to the point where Sue texted me. Uh, I have to know included the video of a mean shot, mm. and her question was. This real question mark? Like it's AI. She thought it was yeah. AI because the hands. Because of hands, this, what the is this? AI this? or That's not, so or so deliberately terrible yeah. that this was a bit. Which, to be fair, I thought when I saw American Ninja Warrior, I was like, "It's a bit." Right. Check this out. All right, you got to be an athlete. You know what I mean? And Good the mean footwork. wasn't that. He tried to get the rope and went down. I got to say, that looked like a Shaquille O'Neal free throw. That was just ugly. This is the thing with Amin. Mm -hmm. You never know. Is that Amin has a skill, and I'm going to say skill, actually. 100% skill. He's a skill at being somehow wildly globally viral for doing something that seems so athletically inept Mm. that it feels like it was on purpose. Yeah. Uh, you know, it's it's funny because I think my skill is letting the joke be the joke. And if I'm the joke, then that's the, then I'm going to laugh. And so I think a lot of people... I haven't seen you laugh yet, I don't think. About oh, it. no. I mean, like, my Twitter timeline is me retweeting all the okay, funniest all right. things that people have said because it's I, legitimately funny. But to that point, right? Like, part of me was like, 
when I saw this, Katie, I was like, Amin gave in too too soon. Like there, if if you if you were if if Amin was not somebody who already had the previous experience of like I know how to deal with this, I'm gonna race car metaphor. I'm gonna uh, turn into the skid. Mm-hmm. Yeah. Right. I'm gonna instead of that form a war room of advisors. Mm. Okay. Yeah. Like this thing has just happened. <laughs> I'm seeing for the first time. Pablo, Katie, what should I do here? What would you have advised Amin? Retire. I am. But that's that's. <laughs> Katie, I haven't played since like Go 2017. Go into hiding. I, I retire. did retire. Oh, what are you doing? <laughs> what? Oh, I thought you were taking off a ring again. No, I was like, no, eh. God, no. I didn't. I don't have a ring. I'm very <laughs> single. Um, no, I, I think you did the right thing. I would have done that. I Man, think I would have been upset. For I, I know you would have done differently. What would you have done, Pablo? I think I would have concocted some story. I would have said, Amin, you are now going to lean in. You, what you're going to do? You're going to tape another video, and it's going to be you with a newspaper. From the day before, just got to find a newspaper. Mm-hmm. You're going to say, I'm going to troll America into thinking this is what my jump shot looks like. Oh, uh, that's actually that's a pretty good idea. So are you, you, are you saying you do have a good jump shot? That just was one bad shot and it was the only shot they got on camera? Is that the story? That's not the story. That's what happened. That's not a story. And do you have video of you doing any of the good ones? From that game, no. No. Mm. Yeah. I mean, look, I, look, here's the thing. Getting, this is the other uh, thing I did not realize predator. about these celebrity <laughs> games, right? Why don't you have a scene? Mm. That everyone's showing up with a team of, like, dedicated shooters who are documenting their every move. Mm. And I was just like, I just showed up to play basketball. So now I'm seeing and everyone that's what that post was. stuff, and they've got all these highlights and stuff like that. And I'm like, yeah, I don't have any of that because I didn't have anyone who was following me. There's just one video that one person took at that moment. And what are the odds? That the one video that one person took at that one moment mm-hmm. is the one that you look like you don't know how to play basketball. I mean, no, as Kev on stage said, it looks like he does until, until the, the end. Yeah, yeah. It's not he's not wrong. Looks exactly I correct. Like, oh, this until is gonna be normal. Exactly this is, but like this is this is this is why I didn't feel like I so had to what, defend myself. So you, what you, I think what we want though, what mm-hmm. Katie is is trying to frost Nixon you into telling us mm-hmm. is we understand the context now of your fasting mm-hmm. and your psychology and your physiology. What is responsible for the way that your hand the, the, looked? The, the, the simple answer is the ball slipped. It's very light because it's a women's ball. I'm not used to you playing oh, with a women's ball. Oh, it's our fault. <laughs> oh. The, it's the ball's fault. No, oh. but, no, but the reality is, man, like the ball it, did lie. It's, it slipped, <laughs> man. It slipped and you know, I tried to get it back and it didn't work and that was it. Yeah. The reality is, and this is when Katie says, oh, like, oh, what are the odds? Like, this is why I don't feel the need to really defend my shooting form. Because, yes, I haven't played in like six or seven years. But prior to that, I used to play pickup ball all the time. Yeah, and media games. Media games. And prior to that, when I worked for the Suns, I played pickup games with staff, with coaches, with players sometimes. So I have no shortage of people including, by the way, we saw him earlier on the thing, Andrew Schultz, one of the biggest roast comedians there is. You think I hoop with Andrew Schultz, and he knew that about my jump shot and has kept it a, a secret all these years because he wouldn't go that far, right? This, I mean, like, it, it just it I, doesn't... I can vouch for the fact that no one... It's not a running joke that Amin shoots a basketball like what you saw in the video. That is not a thing. I've been around many people who played in these games with Amin. What I'm here to say, though, is that the way that you must have processed that, mm-hmm. having now learned about how Ramadan is a season in which you are trying to be open-minded and uh, and uh, kind. full of goodwill mm-hmm. and cheer, it feels like truly a test that I would have made up in a screenplay about how it means Ramadan might be going right now. No, you know what it is? It is definitely like the come up and s- of the bad guy, right? <laughs> uh, for sure. Because the funniest thing to me, Katie, mm-hmm. isn't the jokes. The jokes are hilarious. But the funniest thing are like the people who are legitimately angry. Like, oh, yeah. Oh, uh, you got me to tell me this guy. Da, 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 da. And there's this one guy, and bless his heart, I don't think he meant poorly, but I think he's connected in some way to Zion Williamson because he has New Orleans oh, in his yeah. thing and his mm. whatever. And like his first thing is like, this guy made fun of Zion Williamson's weight for how long? And, da, da, da. and I'll say, hey, buddy, first of all, yeah, actually, my, my first response is like, yeah, you're right. Let's go get that, ass, right? Like, because what am I supposed to say? Yeah, I did something that's ridiculous. Ridicule me, for sure. Yeah. Just like Zion being out of shape was ridiculous. So I ridiculed him. We're going to cook up <laughs> at the end of this segment now a whole Amin highlight reel with like dramatics, uh, soaring music. 
uh, all about what we found footage-wise that makes the case. Oh. Yeah. Still weird finger stuff. It's a lab. It's a lab. I have to put English on it. I have mangled hands. Your, your, your hands are mangled. Which is funny because my left hand. Let's be real about Embiid's hands. For those not watching on YouTube. My left hand, I've been told I could be a hand model. And Excuse a football. model. Excuse me, you could book hand jobs. Not this month. Thank you. So uh, Congress is debating whether TikTok, or, you know, platform should be uh, allowed in America or not. Mm. Chinese government, they're deposing people. And passed in the House. Bill passed 352 to 65. Mm. It's headed to the Senate now. That was in the House. Got to go through the Senate. And if it does, then uh, President Biden has said, if Congress passes it, I'm passing it. And then the, what it is, is they have six months, I believe, mm -hmm. to sell the company or it will no longer be allowed. Right, for the, the Chinese States. firm ByteDance to divest from it so that yes. it can exist in America free from the alleged interference yeah. by the Chinese government. And the all movement the on implies. this has been very quick they in a way that that's like, Knicks. is this top? <laughs> yeah. And so what I wanted to have Katie Nolan provide us was just truly like the apocalypse bunker, <laughs> the time capsule of how should we remember this platform before it goes away forever? And Katie is the only person in my life who I trust with this very important task. So when, uh, so Dan, my fiance, I know that the current evidence seems like I don't have one mm. and I am, I'm very sorry. Mm. Um, but my, he doesn't have TikTok. He doesn't understand it. So what I do is I have it and then I save them and then when he comes mm. home from the road I'm like here are the seven that I think you would think are funny and we go through them That's together love, I got Katie as like a 1950s housewife with like the yeah. dress and the apron and Dan comes in with a hat on and a suit and he Suitcase. sits down yeah and she gives him a kiss on the cheek hands him like Scotch on the rocks mm -hmm. and the TikToks. Here you go. Mm -hmm. These are TikToks of the day, honey. I don't cook I don't clean but let me show you how I got this ring I show him TikToks there you go Um. so I when I heard that TikTok might be going away, my first thought was like, oh, uh, there's so much on here that like we reference the way people would quote movies. We quote these TikToks. They've become like a real part of our relationship. So I downloaded all the ones that would make up what I have named here the Dan and Katie soundboard. Wow. So I don't know that these are like necessarily like top TikToks of life uh, ever, but these are the ones that have stayed with us mm -hmm. and are uh, like formative to our relationship. How many of these would you say you've saved? If you were just like guesstimate how many of these? It says at the, at, the at the top. Well, for the soundboard, this is uh, on the soundboard, we have 66. Jesus We've got other TikToks that aren't like quotes, That's a lot but they're just TikToks, funny Michael. things that we say to each other or that are like just funny videos that I like. I feel like the government should call you as a witness. Okay, so this is a little boy. He's, uh, fi I'll give you the context. A little boy, he's fishing with his family. And they, uh, he's got like a snotty nose. Here's, uh, here's the TikTok. Do you don't have any fish foods? Hilarious. Fish foods? Do you don't, do you don't have any fish foods? Perfect. Great so what start. I'm, what, I'm, what I'm realizing you is that, that. You yeah, guys say fish, that to each other. Fish foods all the time. Mostly Constantly. your baby voice. As it were, yeah, is Not actually that. this child's is voice. this baby? Yep. Uh, then we got this one. This one's my favorite. My dad just came back from Starbucks and he brought me a cold brew and I was like, "Oh, thank you." And I went to grab it and my mom looks up from her work and she goes, "You and your iced coffee. Do you want to call me a slur, Laurie?" <laughs> I I feel like a scientist who is finally like getting a real insight into the interior lives of his like experiment subjects. Like, okay, oh, I, how about this one? Okay, this is day thirty seven. Okay, how about this a one? Breakthrough. How about this one? <laughs> She's thick and juicy. She's so sexy and gorgeous. Look how snatched. Look how snatched. Look how small. Ooh, the waist. I mean, the ass is fat. The ass is on planet 10. Say that all the time. The ass is fat. 
the ass is on planet. For the record, the woman that's ha- that's saying this, her ass is not fat and it's not on planet 10. That's why it's funny. I can vouch for that. She's being funny. <laughs> uh, okay, wait, there's more. I can't believe you guys aren't absolutely loving these. These are the funniest <laughs> keep thing I've ever seen. Please keep going. I, I'm beginning to realize my algorithm is very different yeah, from Katie's. Mine's perfectly have remarkably yeah, different yeah, yeah. algorithms. Hey, guys, just threw up like a mother. Apparently you can't gulp, 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 lime, cucumber, Gatorade. But who knew? Jeez Louise. Perfect. So do you perfect? Do you follow the Jeez Louise? There's a on TikTok. I think it's trash gas station lady. No. It's a woman who actually works at a gas station and she imitates what the customers say to her. Mm. And they the customer the customer voice she uses sounds like that woman. Yeah, that woman might be her customer. How about this guy? He's on a fishing boat having the time of his life. He's like your your best friend's dad. <laughs> you call me anything you want, but don't call me that. You can call me anything you want, but don't call me that. It's amazing you said that with no consonants. You can call me anything you want, but don't call me that. I got to say, so far, I would absolutely vote to ban TikTok in there. What's wrong with you? Okay, how about this one? <laughs> I mean, I I do think you're gonna like this one. Okay. And if I'm wrong, it's gonna hurt my feelings. Okay. Tall men like short women. So where does that leave tall women? I don't know, Shaq. You told me when's the next game. <laughs> Can I get some uppies? Uppies? <laughs> okay, that one's funny. <laughs> it's a guy looking up at the camera yeah. going, I don't know, Shaq. You tell me when's the next game. Can I get some uppies? But he's doing also like the um, kicking game thing with swaying side yeah. to side and yeah. like rubbing his chin. It's yeah. funny. Here's a stitch. It's of a guy clearly trying to do that thing where he's like, I'm an ally for women. And then somebody stitches it with a video of a dog. So here we go. Why do guys think it's okay to lay their hands on a woman? Like, bro. <laughs> <laughs> the funniest thing you've ever seen. That is funny. That's incredibly uh, funny. Have you, have you, guys, you guys have seen uh, Neve from Catfish? On oh, yeah, the when elevator. he's in the elevator. This the elevator. elevator respects women. Yeah, yeah. God. Why, what does that, how could that? Ray, it was uh, back when... Ray Rice. It was the, that long was ago. That, was, 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 hold was, on. In this God, elevator, we what? respect women. Wait, is he doing no. that? Like, That's a sports thing? No, 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 I'm no, 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 no. fairly no, no. certain. Bump the brakes. You're right. Yeah, in this elevator, we respect women. Oh, it was my ridiculous. God. Wait, like, was he trying to be funny? No, he Patrick was trying to be. Neve he has his hand like this. Does he not have his hand like this? I'm fairly certain he has his hand on his chest. Oh, my God. Like, oh, my God. Hold on, hold on, hold on. Because, like, if it were a joke, I'd be like. No, it's not a joke. Yeah, it like a little. It's not a joke. Yeah, hand on his chest. Oh in my elevator. god! We respect it's, women. It's funny. I was like, "Yo, man, that, that seems make like me sick." Real men show strength through patience and honor. This elevator is abuse free. Oh. Hashtag all caps respect. Oh man, I thought it was in this elevator we respect you, women. That's much funnier. You got is, the gist. <laughs> also, you can't. Do you own that elevator? How do you know it's abuse free? Somebody might have gotten Maybe into something. He, just, he squats in there. Sure is. Sure is. That's it. Yeah, no, it's, I mean, she'd had a lot longer oh, okay. of a video, but right. I only just clipped off that little part. Um, all right, I got more. Hold on. This is really a soundboard of, like, Dan and Katie's favorite weird children they've Guys, seen on the Guys, these are very internet. funny. You're going to all like them. This a one is a of, stitch. Very kid-heavy, yeah. This one's a side-by-side stitch. Um, so I feel like when you have kids, it's not as cute and endearing. Sure, we don't. And yeah. these are our only children. Yeah. We won't be having any more. I was going to um, So the, this. the 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 this one the original video is somebody playing the piano with the letters of the um, of the notes. Mm-hmm. So it'll be like C-A-B-G. Mm-hmm. And then it's stitched with, side by side, a woman who's singing, pronouncing those ah, as if they're words. Cabbage. Yeah. Yes. So it's very funny. And if you don't like this, you are not friends. Face. Fap the. Egg but the. Egg egg. Oh. Sexy. Perfect. That's perfect content. You can't get rid of that. How about this? There was a trend. This isn't on our soundboard, but we'll go outside of it Leave now. Leave all of this in. There was a trend. Yeah, why would you take any of this out? There was a trend. This is the least edited segment we've ever aired. There was a trend where um, TikTok came out with these uh, voice filters. So, oh, you know, yeah. they have video filters where mm-hmm. you can, you know, make yourself look like whatever. These were voice filters. So it could make you, you would just talk regular and it would sound like SpongeBob or you would yeah. talk regular and it would sound like uh, some other voice. 
People were trying to break the voice filter by using it on things that wasn't like their voice. So mm. it was like a car starting or playing guitar. There's no other way you would run into this hilarious sound if it were for TikTok. Mm -hmm. We have to save TikTok so that you can know that when somebody plays or somebody starts their car with a voice filter, it sounds like this. Seeing if the new voice filters work on my exhaust. Okay, wait, wait. Or when they play... I like the beginning. Wait, go. It's hilarious. This is when you play a saxophone. I'm sure someone has already done this, but I wanted to try the voice effect filter on the saxophone. Let's try it. Oh, 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 <laughs> wishy, 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 wishy. Oh, oh, oh. Okay, I think we found something. So I've been seeing a lot of people like take this voice filter thing and try and break, like break it or something. And um, like crying or laughing or just something crazy funny or something like that. And I wanted to try it on um, guitar or try playing guitar and just see <clears throat> um, what it would sound like. So yeah, let's try it out. Here's me playing guitar. Ch 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 Amazing. Incredible. Not the vaguely racist, but I'll allow it. <laughs> Yo. Oh, I didn't even think about that. I did. <laughs> I certainly. All right, you cut that one. Katie and Dan have a love, dude. That is truly incomprehensibly profound. I and I say incomprehensibly because w this is what you're putting into That's your time capsule. You? That's not entertaining to you. All of this. Let, let, this. let me ask Do you a question. Are minds? Are you or are you not going to incorporate some of these sayings into your vows? Jason, if you would have told me three years ago that we would be standing here. Together, in front of our friends, family, and God, I would have never believed you. <laughs> wow, the timing was impeccable. <laughs>Here is what I found out today on today's show. Pablo Torre what did out. Pablo Torre find out? I found out that Katie Nolan's taste in TikToks is the Amin's follow through <laughs> of internet curation. <laughs> Holy <laughs> shit. Katie, that's what's been going on in that brain this entire time. <laughs> Stop oh, playing weird children on your cell phone. A knuckle sandwich. <laughs> Do you want a knuckle sandwich? <laughs> Do you want a knuckle sandwich? Oh my god. I mean, what did you find out on today's show? Yeah, I find out that, that Dan and Katie have a love that could never be matched by anybody on this earth. This I'm truly excited to see you guys join in holy matrimony and terrified by what comes next if TikTok gets banned. <laughs> Why are you playing another video? Down here. Whoa, Jason, nice. <laughs> All right, I will hit you. I will hit you. I have to hear that one more time. I'm going to hit you. Whoa, Jason. Yes. That one is great. Nice, Jason. Take it easy. Take it easy. Take it easy. Take it easy. Whoa, Jason. Oh, nice. I guess I should point out that in the course of making this episode with you guys today, I did also uh, text Ed Hockley again. Yeah. <gasps> And he has once again left me on. <gasps> What'd you text him? He I has said, readers. Hi, Ed. Would love to talk to you again for an episode. Just let me know. Thanks! Exclamation point. Oh no! It seems it's a lot. Is the, it a lot? The read receipts are on. I, why would he leave oh, them no, on? Oh no! When why I say he, he left on? me on red, I mean literally. I'm getting a why read receipt. Why did he receipt. turn them on? Because at some point to flex. you have to send the message. Ed, I can see that you've read these. Oh wait, this is my favorite one. This has been Pablo Torre Finds Out, a Meadowlark Media production. And I'll talk to you next time.